Yo what's up guys, in today's video I'll show you how I created these two stunning and unique looking 3D printed lamps. If you have a 3D printer at home, this is definitely a project you will want to try. So without further ado, let's jump right in. First I opened up Fusion 360 and started designing. My initial inspiration was to create a circular lamp kind of like a donut. I did design it that way at first but I quickly realized it it going to be difficult to print. So I made some modifications instead of going for a perfect donut shape and here's how it turned out. While designing I got another spark of inspiration. Originally I planned to make just one but in the end we got two awesome designs. Now that the models are ready it's time to print them on my new favorite 3D printer the Elugu Century Carbon. I have been using this printer for the past two weeks and I gotta say I'm already in love with it. This printer is super beginner friendly and comes pre-assembled so you can start printing right out of the box. With its fully enclosed body it sports a wide range of filament materials, it prints at an impressive speed of 500 mm per second and features automatic bed leveling with four pressure sensors, ensuring a perfect first layer every time. It even has a built-in camera for recording time lapses or monitoring prints remotely from the slicer. The best part, it's expected to be budget friendly and competitively priced but here's the challenge for you, can you guess the price? Drop your guesses in the comments below. Also make sure to follow their social media for latest updates on the printer and they are revealing the price this month, links are in the description. The print quality is pretty impressive, check out the bottom, so clean with a nice texture, thanks to the textured build plate. Now that's all the parts are ready, let's move on to the electronics. I choose minimal components, first we have this ARGB LED strip, it's the 5V version with 60 LEDs per meter. Next we have ESP8266 mini, also known as VMOS D1 and finally we need a DC socket. That's pretty much it, now let's assemble everything and complete the build. The connections are straightforward, just connect all the 5V and ground wires together and connect the LED strip signal pin to D5. The connections are done, now we need to install WLED on the board, which I have already done because I don't want to make this video boring, however I have provided a step by step guide in the description so you can follow along if you need any help. The top part doesn't require screws since I have added threads in the middle, just align it and tighten it by rotating clockwise. And there we have it, it's done and looks amazing. Before the final reveal, let's build the second lamp so we can showcase both together. But first let's talk about today's sponsor LTM365, the world's first open electronic hardware development platform that connects your entire team anywhere in the world, collaborate securely in real time manage designs and components and streamline your workflow from concept to production. It integrates seamlessly with eCAD and MCAD tools allowing you to design the future from anywhere. Design the future with LTM365 where your next great idea comes to life. As for students, check out LTM Student Lab, get free access to LTM Designer and LTM365 with your university email, collaborate with friends, earn industry recognized certificate and boost your career. Click the link in the description to get started. Coming back to the topic, this lamp is much easier to build. Once again, I fire up my carbon century and printed all the parts. They turned out super clean and smooth. I used spiral waste mode for this part which worked really well. I also went with 3 different colors for the parts to give it a unique look. One of the best thing about this lamp design is that it doesn't require any screws for assembly. 
It's actually pretty straightforward. First, screw the top part on the base, then attach the bottom lid in the same way. Lastly, insert this part from top, and that's it. Pretty cool, right? Now for the electronics, you can use the same electronic setup as the donut lamp, but I'm keeping this one simple. So for this build, I'm using a 12 volt warm white LED strip along with a DC socket. Alright guys, now the both lamps are finally completed and they turn out amazing. Let me know in the comments which one you like more. This lamp runs on 12 volts so plug the adapter and you are good to go. As you can see it lights up beautifully, just look at that glow. The warm white light spreads so nicely creating a soft and cozy ambience. I feel like I should have made it slightly bigger, it would have looked even better but I'm still happy with the results. Now let's check out the second lamp. This one runs on a 5V adapt since I used a 5V LED strip. As I mentioned earlier, I have already installed WLED on it, which means you can control the colors, modes and brightness right from your smartphone or any device connected to the same Wi-Fi network. And just look at this. This lamp is on another level. The colors are absolutely stunning and the way they smoothly transition between different shades make it feel so dynamic and alive. You can switch between warm and cool tones, add pulsing effects and even sync it with music. It's perfect addition to a gaming setup, a modern workspace or even an eye-catching wall piece. The 3D files for these lamps are available with the channel membership or you can purchase them through the link in the description. Also make sure to check out the Elugu Carbon Century link in the description as well. I hope you enjoyed this project. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more exciting builds. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Until then, bye bye.